Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about wine sap apples. The exact origin of wine sap apples is not known, but they appear to have been brought to America from Europe as a seed, which is unusual. And there is documentation in the early 1900s stating that those apples, wine sap apples, were popular for the production of apple cider in the state of New Jersey. Early on, it was mainly used in the production of apple juice and apple cider. And farmers, interestingly, were discouraged from growing wine sap apples since they didn't bring a high price as the fresh eating apples. There has been increased interest in heirloom varieties and wine sap certainly fits in that category. Today they're grown in small to medium orchards in Washington State, Oregon, Georgia, and Virginia. Regarding their characteristics, wine sap apples are round, medium in size, with a very thick dark red skin. They have a creamy yellow flesh that's crisp, very juicy, sweet tart and spicy and it does not break down very well when it's cooked. They have a distinctive spicy wine-like flavor, hence the name wine sap apples. Best uses, wine sap apples are perfect for juice, making cider and sauces and apple preserves with them. Of course they can be enjoyed fresh and cut up into salads. They go well on cheese trays and they can add moisture and a sweet flavor to baked goods like breads, muffins, and cakes. They're an excellent apple for cooking and can be baked and sauteed and roasted. You can even add wine sap apples to stuffing and roast them with meats and even winter squash. And the flavor of wine sap apples pairs well with both sweet and savory applications. So you can use them in a lot of ways. I do hope this helps. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.